I love this comment, and you are absolutely correct. And in many ways, this is exactly how I see my role as a Torah observant Christian in what I do online. God is a judge. He set up his law and we are all to live by it. But because people are not getting caught and punished under that law right now, they think they're getting away with everything that they're doing when they're not. And they're expecting a good Samaritan like Yeshua to pay for all their fines. And while he does pay for some of them, he most certainly will not pay for all of them. And that's very clear. Read Hebrews 10, 26 through 30. So these Christians are constantly breaking the law, thinking that Yeshua is going to pay for it, even though he says that he won't. And I am acting as the law enforcement officer, but right now I don't have any ability. I can't arrest you and take you to the judge. I can't fine you. All I can do is say, hey, I know the law and I know the penalty. I know what's going to happen on judgment day. You really need to stop doing what you're doing. But because I don't have any authority in that capacity to arrest them, they're not afraid of it. They're not afraid of the consequences. They're not afraid of the judgments that's going to come upon them. And it's sad and it's scary. But the Bible tells us that the people who know the truth are the ones that need to blow the trumpets to warn the people that what they're doing is wrong. The same thing that all of the prophets did throughout the Old Testament. The same thing that Yeshua did in the New Testament. The same thing that the disciples did all throughout their post-Christ ministry. They sounded the trumpet. They said, this is how God told us to live and you are not doing it. If you start doing it, your previous sins will be forgiven. But if you continue to live in sin, it's not going to be forgiven. That's what the Bible says, Old and New Testament. And I can prove it all day long using nothing but scripture, not opinions. But because people don't see the penalty and the consequences right now, they don't care. Most people don't care. But the penalties and the consequences are going to be way more severe for breaking God's laws than anything that man could do to you on this earth. But people fear men's laws. People obey men's laws. But they make all the excuses in the world why they don't need to obey God's laws that are fully within their power to obey. Right now, I may not have any authority as Torah police. However, you will be judged. So you might want to start paying attention to the words and the things that the person that's going to judge you told you to do. Jesus told you to obey God's laws, and you can do it or not. But if you don't, the penalty is steep.